Let me let me change uh, topics now and talk to you about dietary guidelines. Mm -hmm. um, you and Secretary uh, Vilsack, Secretary of Agriculture Vilsack, are charged with developing dietary guidelines. And in that process by which you develop those guidelines, you have an advisory uh, committee, the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee. They've issued a report, and uh, at least uh, to many of us, it's a very controversial report um, because it includes in their recommendations, and they admit they're taking into account topics outside nutrition and diet, uh, and specifically considering environmental sustainability. So dietary guidelines, which in and of themselves are hard to determine what the right answers are, at least by your advisory committee, is now being expanded to include consideration of environmental sustainability. Contrary to the statutory framework by which you and Secretary Vilsack are instructed to develop the guidelines. I've had conversations with Secretary Vilsack in person in my office as well as in the hearing in front of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Agriculture mm -hmm. in which he indicated to me that he will color within the lines. By that, I assume he's assuring me that he is going to abide by the statutory framework for those guidelines. And I've also asked him if he's had conversations with you about this topic and what interface is occurring. And my impression is at this point, that's probably not occurring, at least at the secretarial level. So my question to you is, is the same as to the Department of Agriculture. Uh, I want to make certain that you agree with the sentiment expressed by the Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, I want you to assure me that you intend to, in developing the final guidelines, that you will disregard areas that are outside your instructions in developing dietary guidelines, that you will stay true to the issues of diet and nutritional science. Uh, and not expand the dietary guidelines to something beyond its intended scope. So, uh, actually, the Secretary and I have spoken. It was about an issue that he spoke with me, and then I think I received your letter after, and a letter that's signed by actually many uh, folks in terms of I've received two different letters, and we extended the period of comment because right now we are in a period uh, where it has been put Thank out. Thank you. Thank you for that. And so we have extended, and I have talked to the Secretary. So on the, pro the first issue that faced us, the process issue, he and I have had the chance to talk about it, agree, and very quickly, I think you know, extended by 30 days um, for the reasons you have stated that there we want to see what the comments are, and we want to see what we get back. When the process comes to HHS, uh, you know, we receive what the advisory committee does, but we also, NIH, CDC, FDA, we will have the full spectrum of our health uh, participants as well as the Surgeon General uh, and the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Health be a part of the conversation as we develop with USDA what will be the final. As with any issue, I will always want to abide by the statute, and as we work to implement that, that's what we'll do. Uh, I gave you too easy of an out because, of course, you would say you would want to abide by the uh, statute that uh, governs your actions. And so the follow-up question would be, do you share my view or the, the, the view, let me say it this way, do you share the view that the dietary guidelines are to be developed around dietary and nutritional science and nothing more? Uh, that, I have to be honest and say, I have not reviewed the statute closely enough to be able to answer that question in the specific way that you have posed it. With regard, as I think I was indicating, the people that are involved in terms of our issues around science and health, uh, FDA, NIH, those are our players. That's where our sweet spot is. Those are the things that are probably, you know, where we're have the most expertise. Does that suggest you're going to color within the, within the lines? Uh, it suggests that... Uh, I need to read the statute because I shouldn't answer a question. I apologize until I actually know what a statute says. I do want to actually abide by the statute. And that's something at this point in the process, I apologize, I haven't gotten to. So, uh, but I hear and understand that's something you will be following up on. Thank you, Secretary. Senator Durbin.